Finally, we've come to the point where I want to deal with these undefined messages on the end of the flow ports. Uh, and what we need to do there is to associate a signal um, with the flow port. So that's the type of signal that can be that can go across that port. And of course, that's the same signal uh, in the case of this timer display box block uh, that will be dealt with by its receptor. Uh, it's just a simple one-to-one -one correspondence. Of course, in a more complicated block there could be many ports and many receptors, so um, we're just starting with a simple case to start with. Um, so in this case it's uh, very straightforward. I'm going to select the flow port itself. Um, and notice down here in the uh, in the properties for that, uh, that, that port, uh, I can select the, t the type And I'm going, to, I'm going to select that from the pull-down list. So that one was very straightforward, and uh, that's also true for this other block here, the set time keypad. Again, I'm going to select the flow port and then select the type of signal that flows across it. In that case, this is the uh, signal for setting the timer, SIG timer set. So there we are, we've, dis we've uh, added the, uh, the signal type for those two flow ports. And you can see that now at the end of the f definition of each of the flow ports, the undefined um, message has disappeared and uh, they're associated with that particular sort of type of signal type.